This is my first video on climate change. I have been writing about climate change for over 10 years. In 2008, I spent a year studying the subject before I was willing to risk my reputation on cold climate change. The, after one year, I became convinced that what the politicians were saying and what the press was saying was not correct. And I started publishing, and I must have published 70 or 80 essays on climate change. I lost count. And that hasn't been easy because in the press and the politicians, there was an incredible pressure to believe in man-made global warming. You should see my video on carbon dioxide and read my essays because carbon dioxide is a healthy gas, a necessary healthy gas. Even NASA says it's a cooling gas in the stratosphere. So carbon dioxide is really not responsible for climate. It's certainly responsible for health and certainly responsible for um, all the plants in the world thriving. The more carbon dioxide they get, the faster they grow. And this has been reflected in the forests. The basic or the easiest way to see that the press, which is dominated by eight companies and all the politicians in the world except Trump, Donald Trump, is the entire hysteria about global warming comes from the increase in carbon dioxide. You'll never find a global warming essay talking about the sun. These people who are lying through their teeth pretend that the sun doesn't have anything to do with the weather down here on planet Earth, when it does. The sun, and all we have to do is look to astrophysics, is the main dominating force in terms of the weather. Take the sun away and we're all dead. Diminish the output of the sun and things cool down. Diminish the power of the sun, which does happen cyclically through the centuries, through the decades, and through 11-year cycles. When the sun diminishes it, it, and the solar wind slows down, more cosmic rays touch down on Earth. And as they come to the, through the atmosphere, they create more cloud formation, and thus more precipitation, and more intense storms. And of course, clouds, cloud cover, like the ice on the poles, reflects the sun, so it's cooling. We have actually man-made global cooling happening, not man-made global warming. How is that? Well, we found out after 9-11, when the United States grounded all the air traffic, that we have a, 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 a situation called global uh, solar dimming. The air traffic and the pollution from airpl airplanes, from jets flying up at 30,000 feet, creates a block to the sun, and so there's a cooling effect. Now, also the CIA recognizes or puts out, states that geoengineering, chemtrails, that the reason they're doing that is to block the sun because it's warming when it's not. So we have a cooling world because the sun is diminishing through a cycle. And so we, we have geoengineering, they're spraying hostile chemicals into the atmosphere to block the sun, cooling the planet when we already have a cooling planet because of the sun. 
and because of the cosmic rays. We all scientists also know that the cosmic rays, they of course penetrate not only through the atmosphere, but through the Earth, and are responsible for the increasing seismic activity and volcanic activity. We've had these last 10 years increasing volcanic activity, and that puts out a lot of material into the atmosphere, which is also cooling. So we have many things colliding with each other to create global cooling, which is actually more dangerous than global warming because of the increased precipitation, because of the increased volcanic activity, because of the explosive volcanoes, and because of shorter growing seasons. Global warming would increase food production in, the, in Russia, China, Canada. The, the agricultural belt would move north, increasing agricultural production. In global cooling, it's the reverse. So with global cooling, we lose agricultural areas and we lose days or even weeks on the growing season.